Guys, when it comes to survival, you've got to improvise to survive. You've got to think outside the box. And because what can go wrong will go wrong. And Murphy's Law is a law. And so being prepared means that you can be agile. You're ready to face whatever's in front of you. Today we're going to take a look at something that's unique. Uh, but I have seen some reviews on this. It's been around for a little while. But it is the Wazoo Survival Cache Cap. And that's what I'm wearing right here. You can put survival items right in your ball cap and no one knows the difference. And so we're gonna take a look at some of the really cool features. Now you can find this on wazoosurvivalgear.com, but I wanna thank the guys over at Big Daddy Unlimited for sending this for this test and evaluation. One of the things though I'm gonna tell you guys is Wazoo Survival Gear has a lot of really cool innovative items and things that you can really minimize your survival or EDC kit. Guys, number one, it's just a great little ball cap. It's made from ripstop material, so it's gonna last. I mean, the interior of the ball cap is made for comfort. It is really an exceptional cap just in itself. Uh, and it does come in a multitude of colors, and you can go check that out. But one of the things that, to me, that would be a downside is that you know, you're limited to what you can put in here. Uh, whatever survival items you have, they're gonna have to be fairly flat. Uh, in that way, they don't just kind of stick out. Now, you're going to be able to get away with some, you know, impressions on the ball cap, but typically you want things that are pretty flat. So let's take a look and see what I've got inside this and some other ideas. First off, it's a very nondescript ball cap. It is without structure, which allows you to really kind of pack things in here. Uh, it does have wazoo right here on the cap itself, and it is that ripstop material. They do make a cotton twill version that's in gray. Uh, and then also, and I'll show you in a minute, we do have a Velcro patch field if you want to go with that. Uh, but here in the bill of the cap, first off, uh, you have a small little compartment. And it's got a Velcro keeper right here. And I have a house key. And I have a small little light. And I have a little button compass. Now, I can actually put more in here, but that's just what I have. Now, also, what I really like are these little sleeves. You can see either side. Uh, we have a ceramic rod we can use to sharpen our knives. And we have a small little ferrocium rod for a fire steel. Now, all these items do not come with the cap. These are just things you can put on there. And a lot of things that kind of go in here very easily are on the Wazoo Survival Gear website. This just flattens out, so you can wear it just as it is. But of course, then you have the compartments. Now also inside, you'll notice this mesh. It's a very soft mesh material. Uh, and then you'll notice there's a flap. This is not see-through, so you can't just look at it if you happen to lay your ball cap out. But this does just kind of keep it covered, and that way it keeps it concealed. And so in here, we have some small fire tabs for fire starting. Now this is something that I wouldn't necessarily put in here because it is large and it does change the shape of the ball cap, but I just thought this was cool that you could actually put this in without anybody noticing. And this is one of the Ready Man lockpick sets, and then also we have a small little fishing kit with the hooks. And so these are two great items, and this is actually probably the largest thing you could put in here, but it does fit. In fact, we were at lunch today, and I wore this, and my daughter and son they were they I just asked him I said let me show you this cap and I'd been wearing it for about 30 minutes and they were like wow you had all that stuff in there so you know it is easily to conceal uh, even if you do have a few lumps that come out most people aren't going to notice because this does have some texture to it so we have this one and then we have also each one on the side and I just have a bottle opener in here and then we also have some cash and you'll notice that I have quite a bit of cash in here uh, it's actually about 80 bucks and so or maybe even a hundred dollars and I've got it just folded down I could get that thinner by just putting a 20 up here and then I have a razor and I made sure that I had the cover over it just in case I needed it but again flat items are the best and then on this side well let me go ahead since this is coming out around this area this is a cotton very soft material this hat is really comfortable guys it just it just is uh, and then I have some bank line now I could put paracord in there but I can get a lot more bank line and this is about 15 feet of bank line and this is the braided so if I had just the non braided we could really get a lot of cordage in there then also right here I just have a small little kit it has some safety pins I have a p51 can opener just a few items that you can slip in here and of course you can put a lot more in there 
Then also I have a small striker and it does have a small little measuring piece and it does have a quarter inch nut driver. And so those flat items are the kind that really fit well in this kit. Now one thing I do like about this ball cap is that we can go with this very minimal. I mean I could just put a credit card, I could put my maybe my driver's license or any kind of important documents I wanted to slip in here if I was traveling especially overseas. So guys, I mean, honestly, I got all of these items inside the ball cap and you really couldn't tell it. Now these are other items that you could put in here just to give you some examples. And this was actually in the ball cap and I just missed it. But these are small iodine pills. So you can use this for purifying your water. Uh, Ranger bands go really well in there. Small little bit of tin foil, zip ties, this little uh, trip wire, and then a full fishing kit can go in there as well. Uh, and different type lights. I mean, there's a lot of different ones that are pretty flat that'll go in there. Even a small, flat little pocket knife like this. And then, you know, if you wanted to break that down for that ready man, you know, you could do your small hooks or you could do whatever. This also has a saw with it. And so uh, one thing, too, that I would really probably add in here was a handcuff key. You know, you can get those pretty easily. And so these are just a lot of the different items to be able to make this hat a viable self-defense kit. And really, again, guys, I could probably pack this as well as the other items that I was using. Now, it does have a nice foreign bill. Uh, you have a Velcro adjustment on the back. It's a one-size-fits-all. It's kind of a very nice hook and loop. And then, of course, we have that mesh netting, which is really soft. You have that cotton band that goes all the way around that gives you a little bit of padding. And then we have, you know, your bands that go all across to give it some structure, but not much. And of course, this has the Wazoo logo on it. It doesn't have the small race cap at the top, which makes it nice, especially if you're putting headphones or, you know, some kind of ear protection on. Uh, it is vented in certain areas, uh, but the ripstop is a very cool material and uh, it will not rip. And the last thing you want is for your ball cap to rip and then your items to fall out. Now they do this not only in the OD, but they do it in black, they do it in a camo, they do it in a coyote color. Of course, this makes it nice to be able to put whatever kind of patch you want on here. And of course, Fioki sponsors our ammunition, so I really like to thank those guys for what they do. But when you get the ball cap, it'll say, look inside, and then it points out the different places. Of course, your sleeves on either side, and then your pocket. And then here, out of sight, on the mind. <laughs> And then, of course, this just pulls out, and then you've got your compartments inside. I mean, this is a very well-thought-out, good-quality cap. And again, you can go to Wazoo Survival Gear, and they have a lot of the items that will fit naturally in all these areas. And uh, very innovative. And the price is really good for what you're getting. Uh, these run $30 on the Wazoo Survival Gear website. And I'll have a link down below in the description. I'm not sure if the one with the patch is a little more expensive, but uh, you can check the website to see. So again, guys, go to wazoosurvivalgear.com. I'll have a link down below in the description. They have a lot of very innovative things. Again, being able to improvise, being able to get ready for whatever life throws at you. And, you know, one thing about your ball cap, it's a place that you're just not thinking, but yet it's a place that you can carry things. And you don't even know the difference, and no one else does either. And again, I want to thank the guys over at Survival Dispatch and Big Daddy Unlimited for sending the Wazoo Survival Cache Cap. Uh, this is really cool, and it's just another tool in your toolbox for survival. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. This is the Wazoo Survival. Now, one of the things is you don't want to get it too, too. Now, there are a lot of, okay. you can think, you can think Wazoo Survival Cash Cap. Okay. You're not going to get it stolen necessarily, even if you're mugged because you have it on your cap. People aren't really thinking about that, uh, unless it's a Trump hat. You know, you might get that taken from you. Nah, I don't like any of that. I don't like any of it. None of it. Uh, and of course, you know, <laughs> man, you're always like, <laughs> let's do that again. Plus that's flopping out.